All right, today on the channel, we're gonna be unboxing a new lightsaber that was sent over to me by the kind folks over at N-Sabers. Nice little classic packaging design with the lightsaber on the back and of course their logo on the front. Nice thick, heavy cardboard protected. You got styrofoam protection, you got bubble wrap and everything. Uh, you got your toolkit, which comes with your USB-C charging cable, your Allen wrench, as well as your screws to attach the blade to the hilt. You have your user manual, shows you how to operate it. Some lightsabers have one button, some of them have two. This one in particular has two. So definitely read that because it tells you how to go through everything and operate it. You got your display stand. All these are pretty generic. All the different lightsaber companies have pretty much the exact same design, but it's a nice clear acrylic display. Got a little label there, end sabers. Um, some manufacturers have a, you know, what, what lightsaber blade it is, whether it be, you know, Darth Maul, Obi-Wan Kenobi, that kind of thing etched in there. I do wish n -Saber would do that sort of thing, but to each their own. Uh, it's just kind of a personal preference, I suppose. Uh, you got your white gloves for your unboxing experience. You get a little blade plug, so when you're displaying this inside of your hilt, you can put that in there. I never use these, so these just get thrown over my shoulder, but this, right? This is the piece to resistance. This is Star Killer's lightsaber. This is the weathered version. So as you can see with the paint application, uh, it's all aluminum construction. So everything's high quality materials, but they got some weathered details, the painting uh, wash to it. So it looks like it's, you know, been used and abused and uh, went through the ringer for sure. Nice, nice details. But like I said, this, this open window, viewable, illuminated kyber crystal, that, that's where the money's at as far as uh, the design of this lightsaber in particular. Like I said, we got nice little references and throwbacks and kind of call outs to Darth Vader uh, with this top portion up there, very similar to Anakin and Vader's lightsabers, uh, knob as well. But man, I, I can't get over how really, really cool and exciting that is. And I said, I'll go ahead and ignite it. Um, you can do twist ignition or you can just you know, light there. So. As you can see, obviously with the, the NeoPixel, we can change colors, we can do all sorts of things. So we got purple in there, it's illuminated. Uh, we got a little bit of a red lens right there that illuminates just ever so slightly. Man, oh man, it's a beauty. Turn it off. Solid construction, like I said, all aluminum and everything. Go ahead and unscrew it. You can take apart the bottom portion here. Like that really nice cog design there. And then you pull out the brains of the operation. So you have your micro SD card, in case you wanna pop it out, uh, manipulate any of your files for your sound fonts. You have your USB-C charging port here on the bottom. And I've just turned it on by accident with the twist feature. Uh, and then of course, your rechargeable battery there. So let's go ahead and go through some of the features and show you what this thing can do. All right, first thing we had to recognize is the controls. Like I said, we have two buttons. Top button is your power, bottom button is your auxiliary. So once you first unbox this, uh, you're gonna hold that top button and you'll hear the audio cue for power on. Once that is ready, you are ready to start swinging and slicing and dicing your lightsaber. So uh, go through the most basic features first and foremost. I'm not gonna cover every single setting because this video would be super long if I did. But, so to change your color and or sound font, you're just gonna push this once. You're gonna get a little audio cue for each Kenobi. different character. Letting you know which one you're gonna pick. <laughs> some of them flat out say the name, some of them are just, you know, audio cues like that, like Emperor Palpatine cackling. Uh, each one of them has their own little different color as well as the uh, way the lightsaber ignites. So we'll go ahead and do a uh, old Palpatine there. So you can twist to turn on the lightsaber or you can push the power button. So we'll just push the power button once and it ignites. And again, as you can see that open window there, the kyber crystal is red. Lightsaber is a beautiful red color. Camera probably doesn't do it justice. Probably looks orange, but we've got our smooth swing sound effects. So as I move this around, you can hear it as if you were, you know, truly in a lightsaber battle. You smack it, you get those clash effects, push your bottom auxiliary button, you get your 
blaster deflections. And again, if you wanted to turn it off, you could twist or you could push the top button again. So we'll change our character again by pushing the bottom button just once. Calcestis. Calcestis. I'll ignite it by pushing the button. And as you can see, this one has kind of a flickering strobe effect. It's no longer that smooth solid like we had with Palpatine's. And again, even the lightsaber kyber crystal there flickers to go with it. So very nice touch. So we have this little bitty open window area flickers with it as well. It doesn't really ever match color wise because it's a bit of a red lens, but it does add some nice, nice effect to it. Turn it off. Change character one more time and then we'll move on. Yoda. Yoda. So again, nice solid green, not flickering like Cal Kestis's was. As you can see, the kyber crystal is a solid green, isn't flickering as well, but same effects as before, just slightly different sounds for each individual character as far as spinning and everything. Holding this lightsaber feels good. Um, it is a bit longer. Naturally, my hand wants to gravitate to hold the middle uh, around the kyber crystal area, which is a big no-no because the buttons are there. So you're going to accidentally, you know, turn it off and on all the time. So naturally you'd want to hold it more towards the bottom, but it does feel a little bit uh, long in the hand when you're holding it way down here, especially if you're trying to do spinning tricks or stuff of that nature. So let's change some of the effects. So we're going to hold that top button and we're going to change the ignition style. So this is the second variation. As you can see, lights up differently. Hold the button again. And we get the audio cue each time. There we go. Four. Kind of pieces apart and together. five starts from the top and the middle and there's numerous different ignition styles as well as blade styles so if you want the blade style you're gonna hold the bottom button this time and this is basic four so we got a, a rainbow blade do number five basic just by holding that bottom button again This one's got a strobe effect. And this one's got multiple little blasting deflect actions going on without me actually hitting the button. It just kind of randomly populates through the lightsaber. I'm basic. I like just a standard, normal, even glow lightsaber. No fancy tricks, no fancy ignition styles or anything like that. So I stick with the basic uh, very beginning ones. You do whatever you want. Like I said, you can go through all sorts of different ones. They have numerous ones. I'm not going to show every single one, but they're all unique in their own right. A couple more settings. Once you ignite the lightsaber, you're going to hold the bottom button there. One second, two second. And now we have the blade lockup feature. So you've got two lightsaber blades clashing together. Got them locked up. Turn it off. Just push that bottom button one time and you're good to go. Now, if you want to change the volume, because this thing does get loud, you're going to hold your power and your bottom ignition buttons there. You're going to get the audio cue, push the bottom button to turn the volume down. Now it's muted. I want to turn it up, push the up, that top button. And like I said, this thing gets stupid loud. So turn down again. And when you're ready to set it, push both buttons again. And then you're all set. Change character. Ray Skywalker. Ray Skywalker. Run! This is supposed to emulate Kylo Ren, so it's got the flickering. You can hear the the hum, the crackle of his lightsaber. And again, the kyber crystal is unbalanced, so it's flickering. I mean, overall. It looks good, feels good, it's well made, super fun to play with. Definitely solid build for men's sabers. And that does it for this video review of the Weathered Starkiller lightsaber. If you're interested in picking one up, 
Put a product link down in the video description box below for you. And if you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit that like button. Share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. It really means a lot.